For today's project, if you wanna make a butterfly like this, so white here and uh, colored over here, we have to start with the color side facing up. If you want all the colors inverted, you just start folding with the white side facing up. So let's start by folding in half both sides, so vertically and horizontally. And uh, after you've done that, you unfold and uh, fold diagonally both sides. Like this. After you've done that, unfold again and take the paper like this because we are going to make some preliminary folds over here to create like a star shape. So what we're going to do is to take this side of the paper and fold it up to this diagonal fold. So we're going to fold the paper like this. But we have to fold the paper par partially. So we have to fold the paper from this point where there's this fold over here down to this point. Unfold the paper, repeat the step on this side and on all four sides of the square. After you've done that, the final result should look like this. So we have this kind of star shape over here. And what we're going to do next is to take this side here, all four sides, but let's start with one. And we have to fold it up. But we have to fold it on this point here. So where all the creases are crossing. So we fold the paper up like this. So this line, this line is aligned with this line here and we crease but we crease partially. So we start from the middle and we crease up to this point. So to up to the first diagonal fold we find over here. Let's do the same thing on the right side and then unfold. So we have created this line over here and we have to do that on all four sides. So once you've done that you should have this square here. So after you've done that the next thing to do is to take this edge here and fold it up but just watch for now because I have to explain what to do. We have to take this edge and fold it up and let it um, scroll up and down to this diagonal fold. So the, the tip over here should be aligned with the, with the diagonal fold. And we scroll the paper up and down until we reach this height here. So. As you can see, we have this little square over here. What we're going to do is to, to make a diagonal fold that starts from the top right corner of the square and goes down to the left, bottom left corner. So this diagonal fold here. And in order to do that, we have to fold the paper like this, scroll the paper until we reach the two, the two points. So the two angles over here. We connect the two angles by creasing the paper. Unfold the paper and as you can see we have this diagonal fold here. What we're going to do now is to do the same thing on this square. We're going to ignore this and this square over here. We're not going to touch this two. But we're going to repeat the step on this square. So take the tip and repeat the step. 
we'll make another diagonal fold on this square. And the final result should look like this. The next step to do is to take this tip and fold it up to this point here. So fold it up to this point and once you have everything properly aligned you can take the paper and crease everything. Unfold and repeat the step with this tip over here. And unfold again. What we're going to do now is to take these two squares, but first let's focus on this square, on the right square. And uh, what we're going to do is to take this vertical um, fold over here and fold it up so that it aligns to this diagonal fold. So we just have to make a fold that, 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 that cuts in half the section, the sector. So what we're going to do is to fold up like this, then fold down here so we can see if this line is aligned with the diagonal fold. Once you have everything properly aligned, you can crease down until you reach this fold over here. So crease from here down to here. After you've done that, you can open the paper up. And as you can see, we have created the bisector over here. So this angle is cut in half. We have to repeat the step with the horizontal line. So we just have to take the horizontal and align it with the diagonal fold over here and repeat the step. So fold up to this point, just hop to this, so ignore this part here. Unfold and as you can see we have this, we have this square and here there's the diagonal fold, the diagonal fold creates a triangle over here and creates a little triangle over here. We have to repeat the step on uh, the left bottom, bottom left square and we're going to ignore the uh, top squares. So now the paper should look like this. What we have to do now is to take. Okay. What we have to do now is to take this line here, so this the, 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 the diagonal fold, and fold it back. So just make a fold on the diagonal fold. And uh, if we take the paper like this, we can see that we have this big triangle made out of folds over here. We just have to take this fold and uh, this fold and fold them back. So just close the paper like this and like this. And uh, what we're going to do is to align this side of the paper with this side of the paper, like this. But do not fold this area here that is without creases. You can notice that we have a crease over here, but we don't have a crease over here. So don't crease this side of the paper and just squish down the rest of the paper to create this crease over here. Once you've done that, repeat the step on the left side. And the final result should look like this. Once you've done that, take this paper here, this flap over here, and just scroll it up a little bit so that this crease here aligns to this line here. Once you have everything properly aligned, you can crease the paper again. 
and uh, you can notice that we already have a crease over here so the paper is will lie flat over here as well repeat the step on the other side so just lie flat let let lie flat this this side here and then squish the paper down it's the same thing once you have done everything we have to make a rabbit ear fold so we first have to fold make a mountain fold on this side so from here down to here where the color uh, ends so mountain fold like this and uh, as I make this mountain fold here you can see that this and this two um, creases are mm, folded as a mount as mountain folds automatic automatically <laughs> uh, the next thing to do is to take this crease and this crease and just valley fold them so we have to close the paper in order to do this thing over here so once you have collapsed all the creases you should have this flap over here which we're going to fold it down on the right next thing to do is just uh, repeat the step on the other mm, square we have but we, it's hard to take a reference now because we have all the paper folded and we don't know where is the square now but if if he if we Rotate the paper if you if we flip it over you can see that we have this structure here. So here's the big triangle the little triangle here and the Even more little triangle over here. So we have to fold the paper on this diagonal fold here So just fold the paper here like this And this is the final result So as you can see we have this big triangle which we're going to fold again just like the other one so we just have to repeat the step on this triangle over here so we have to align all the layers over here in order to squish down the paper like this and here we don't have to take uh, references that we don't know because we have this reference we have to align this with this just like before so we just have to repeat all the steps so take this and align it with this line here squash down and repeat on the other side and once you've done that you just have to wrap it ear as well on this big triangle so just make another rabbit ear just as you already done to the other one like this but this time this rabbit ear we're going to fold it on the left side instead of the right side so the final result should look like this the next step to do is to take the paper flip it over and uh, we're going to take this fold and this fold and uh, we're just going to fold them back so take all this side of the paper here and just fold it up like this so close the paper like this close here and uh, the final result should look like this with this side here spread up and uh, which, which we're going to take and close it like this and the final result should look like this now what we're going to do is to take the paper like this and as you can see we have a diagonal fold over here this diagonal fold is going to be 
fold it like this. As you can see, the paper here is does not lie flat. Turn the model over and repeat the step on this side. The next step to do is to take the paper like this and uh, we have to open it a little bit and what we're going to do is, ju is just fold this and this folds here so we just have to take the paper and fold over here but we, we're going to leave untouched this fold this fold and this fold and this fold as well so we just have to fold the paper like this and uh, as you can see we have this V shape over here that aligns perfectly with this valley fold over here so the final result should look like this after you've done that you take these two flaps one and two and just and you just fold them down like this and once you've done that you just have to take these flaps over here and open the model up like this and the final result should look like this so take the paper like this with these two flaps uh, facing up let me just adjust this piece of paper over here there you go and uh, what we're going to do is to open over here and we have to fold the paper in the middle following this crease so fold the paper down but don't crease anything because what we're going to do is to align this layer of the paper with this layer so like this scroll the paper up and down until everything is properly aligned let's do this step on the right side first and uh, once you have everything properly aligned just keep everything in position and uh, squish down the paper letting all or letting the rest of the paper just crease itself and once you've done that you have to repeat the step on this side but be careful because once you once you do everything you should have this little triangle here this little flap over here and this flap should be aligned as well so this flap should have all the layers aligned like this so you have to be careful you have to mm, take care of that as well so squish down everything and keep this flap up like this and aligned with all the layers the final result should look like this and this flap you can keep it up down on the left side on the right side it doesn't matter you can use it to um, take it like this and let your butterfly fly or uh, just mm, take it and uh, take it and put it on a wall so whatever <laughs> let's continue let's go on with the project and uh, what we're going to do now is to take the two uh, the two flaps here and uh, we're going to make a fold over here so you can see that we have a fold over here we just have to fold the paper on that line like this so fold everything so make sure that even it, it, the paper folds even uh, underneath the paper over here crease sharply because now we have to uh, open sync this fold so unfold and uh, just open this side of the paper here 
and what we're going to do is to push in this tip over here letting the paper folding on this fold over here on this crease and on this oh on this crease so I'll show you just push over here push everything letting the paper folding fold fold on the creases we just made be careful and if you need to do that because you know see we have a little bit of dirt of dirty paper over here just adjust the paper like this once you have everything properly aligned and folded on the right creases you can crease sharply and close the paper in the proper way like this the final result should look like this repeat the step on this side now the model should look like this and uh, the model is uh, basically done it's uh, the, the folds at least are uh, are done we just have to um, make all the curls to make the butterfly pretty so the last folds we are going to do we're going to make are uh, the following ones so we have to take this angle over here and fold it down to this angle here so once once you've done that you should have this line perfectly horizontal and uh, once you crease up to this point here the model will not lie flat anymore repeat the step on the other side and now just we just have to make all the curls to make the origami look pretty so take the model and flip it over and what we're going to do first is to take this flap here take our thumb and just push down this side of the paper a little bit the paper should should be lie by itself as intended like this and after you've done that you have to take this flap here open it a little bit and we basically have just to push here on this crease to narrow a little bit the crease like this and uh, when when we do that we take we have to take this tip here and just curl it down a little bit so the final result should look something like this so after you've done that you have to repeat the step on the other flap take your time doing this because the more the, the uh, the more time you take to do that and the more the, um, the origami will look pre pretty so uh, take all the time you need to do that and after you've done that you have to take this side here and fold it up to this and this side and in order to do that we have to take the half and fold it up to this side and the half and fold it to this side and I'll show you we just have to align the two sides of the paper up here crease this side of the paper until the paper lets you uh, crease so do not uh, do not rip the paper accidentally and and uh, after you've done that you, you repeat the step on the other side so the final result should look something like this this side as well will not lie flat um, 
in the final model you should take this side of the paper here and just push it up and make a curl over here as well so let me just try not to rip the paper while I do this we just have to make a curl over here as well make a curve but we're, we'll see it later let's just finish the, the project next thing to do is to take these two flaps so let's start from this one and we are going to make a fold like this so we just have to make a curved uh, a, curved, a curved fold over here uh, I'll rotate the paper just because so on the final in the front of final project we don't see the the draw we have to make a fold like this so we have to fold the paper on this line so we just have to take the paper and uh, fold it on this line this is what we're going to do and the point of doing this is to make the model kind of a 3D model because after you've done this you can see that here is opening a little bit so if we do this process on uh, the all, all the three layers so one two and three we should have this nice design but we'll see it later let me just finish this this side of the project in order to do the middle one you just have to take your thumb and your pointing your report your pointer and pinch over here and just roll down the paper so just roll down the paper a little bit letting though you, you, you have to let the tip untouched so the tip is not going to be folded after you've done that you just have to take the tip over here and just make a curl over here like this and as you can see we have this nice side of the paper that is closed and here is a little bit open which is nice which is nice a nice thing to see so you just have to repeat the step on this side and the final result should look kind of like this now I'm I, I took uh, I didn't take a lot of time doing that, but you, if you take all the time you need, you should make something um, something better than this. So now, the last step to do is to take something like this, something that's rounded, rounded a little bit, and we have to make some curls over here, so we have to make a shape like this over here so we we will start by taking the bottom of the flap like this and just do this in order to make a curve release and as you can see we have this nice curl over here we have to repeat the step three times so now in the on the middle and then on the top and the model now should look like this which is a pretty nice design what, what you have to do is to repeat the step on this side and the model now should look kind of like this which is pretty awesome, if you ask me. <laughs>
So the last thing do, to do is this, to do the same thing we've done on this side of the paper here, so with the pencil or something rounded like this, and make a rounded shape over here as well. Which is pretty laborious, so I'm not gonna do that. But if you take your time, you can achieve that rounded shape over here as well. Which is not required, so if you don't if you can't do it, it's it's okay. <laughs> And uh, once you've done everything of what I told you, you should have this little butterfly done, which is awesome. I like it a lot. I hope you like it as well. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Non ti azzardare, gatto. Si è azzardato. Va bene. No, come fai per un comodo? Io starei, starei lavorando qua. Eh? Starei lavorando io qua. Io starei lavorando qua. Sì, vabbè, ah, vabbè. Ciao, eh. Ciao. Ciao, ciao.